And so here we are at our bench. So we have our six pin headers. We have a uh, small piece of solid core wire which is going to be helpful to rest the six pin headers on while we're soldering uh, just to hold these up a little bit. I'll get to that in a moment. And then we have our five pieces of stranded wire uh, where we've stripped off just a little bit of insulation on each side. Uh, I prefer to make them about three inches. Maybe I might have made these slightly longer, like three and a quarter inches would be good. Um, and then also we have here our heat shrink tubing and of course our five spools of stranded wire so we can make more of these if need be and then our solder and we have our soldering iron fired up and ready to go okay so here we are um, what we've done here is we've used the solid core wire to prop up one end of the six pin header the short end that we're going to be soldering on uh, you could use anything other than solid core wire uh, if you prefer anything you have sitting on your bench just whatever will hold it up nice and uh, one of the things I forgot to mention in the previous shot is we definitely want to use our flux pen here. Uh, as soon as we apply solder to the tip of our soldering iron, the flux in the solder will immediately boil off. So the only flux that's going to be here for us to help our soldering process will be what we apply with this pen. So we're going to want a thoroughly flux pen, the pin that we're about to solder, and it's going to want to drool off there, so try and get it on as best you can. And then we also want to thoroughly flux the wire that we're about to solder to that. I'm going to do one last check and make sure we're in focus here before I start soldering. Okay, that looks good. So this probably isn't visible off camera but I'm going to apply a little bit of solder to the tip of the iron. And again, this is a relatively blunt tip, so the solder should hold on the tip relatively well. Now we're going to hold the wire onto the pin, and this is the part that's difficult. You have to transfer just enough heat to get the solder to flow, but not enough to melt the plastic. You should hear the flux boil off as you do so. I'm not sure if that will be audible on camera or not. I left a little solder on there from the first time, which is what's making it so difficult, but there we go. Now again, doing it this way, you're going to get a semi-cold joint. So let's see if I can zoom in on that. And that's the best I'm going to be able to do as far as zooming in. Um, so at this point, on one side we can see we at least have sufficient solder for an electrical connection but it's really not good and on the other side there's really none at all so we could try and dab just a little more solder on the top now you gotta be careful not to heat it so much as to loosen the connection that you've already made put just a little more solder on our tip see if we can hold it all together And there we go. Again, not a great solder joint, but it'll work. So now we're basically going to repeat the same process. Flux pen first, always. Then thoroughly flux the wire. They have a little bit of solder on our iron tip. Gobbed it on there too much that time.
and apply our solder. So again, I got very little solder on the bottom of that. So let's reflux. Put some more solder on our tip. And get some solder on the other side. And there we go. Okay, now let's try our third wire. Flux the pin, flux the wire, dab some iron on our tip, dab some solder on our tip rather. and see if we can get it just right for a third time. And that one came out great on the first time around. I'm not going to bother putting solder on the bottom of that too.